and welcome back to Creativity with DA3 Live. I'm your host, Don Allen III. Now today we worked on making Deadpool. You can see the final result here and more on my Instagram. I started off with a sphere and subdivided it so that we got tons of polygons, and then we used the knife tool to cut out these hard edges that you see. Now we grabbed two spheres, gave them a white fill, and those became his eyeballs. Now because we can't really see a mouth or his eyebrows, the only way to tell expressions with Deadpool is through his eyes. So we spent a little bit or a lot of bit of time just working on the eyes and making sure that they looked correct. Now we're using the pinch tool to kind of pinch together that leather part that we're gonna do later. And now we got to change the material by selecting the parts that are gonna be slightly different. As you can see on the picture on the left, those parts are gonna be made out of a slightly rougher and maybe a leather material. So we had to do that in, in uh, Cinema 4D by selecting it and giving it some shine. Right here we added the stitching to the uh, base by adding a bump map that looked like stitches. And now we're just doing the fine tuning stitching and fixing the light so that there's a better reflection. At first, he was too reflective, which looks cool and, and he's shining everything, but it looks like he was wearing too much latex. And I think that his actual costume is not made of latex, but rather some kind of stretchy fabric. Last thing we had to work on is the uh, kind of plastic lining that connects the leather part of his mask to his uh, almost latex fabric part. And that is just used with a spline tool that has a circle sweeping on it. Now we went back to the lighting and tried to fix up the textures to get to look as good as possible. Pulled up some more reference images so that we can get his neck and shoulders. This was just a, uh, you saw just a, a sphere that we kind of pulled out to make it kind of like a neck and kind of fatten it up a little bit. Then we just gave him that black collar and then we're done. Thank you so much for watching Creativity with DA3 Live. Have a uh, productive and creative day.